before the time run out because I'm worried about. Oh the, yeah. So our conversation almost going too well. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna start. I'm just afraid I might nick this. You mind if I push it up? Oh. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hello everyone. This is K Culture Crossing. I'm your Korean host Andy Hong. This is not your typical movie review show. Um, it's a it's a guide to a Korean culture through Korean, fil Korean films or TV shows or sometimes variety shows. Also the aim of this show is introducing Korean culture to um, Western audiences. Sorry, Korean oh, I gotta say it again. Also the aim of this show is introducing Korean films or TV shows that are not known to Western audiences. And my guest today is Yoop Sin Him on Rose Battle Canada. You heard his album Nim Kom Tube. Um, you nailed it. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, please, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased to introduce Hunter Collins. Hello everybody. Being on a, a show about Korean culture, let me say, mm -hmm. Arrivederci. <laughs> That's Korean, right? Oh, uh, yeah, let, let uh, yeah, uh, say that for now. I hear the word mm -hmm. chi come up in Korean language a lot, so I figure arrivederci mm -hmm. is probably Korean. Yeah, like... Um, kimchi, kimchi, arrivederci. Mm -hmm. Derchi. That's all the evidence I need to be 100% mm -hmm. certain mm -hmm. that I use the real language. Okay. The correct language. <laughs> I've never heard of the word derchi in my life, but uh, <laughs> uh, I will. I will say. Uh, I will say it exists. Okay. Yeah. Because um, I don't want to offend my guest today. <laughs> <laughs> I just offended every listener. You're like, no, yeah. I must not offend the guest. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it's great to be here. I'm very excited to. Uh, Mm -hmm. Partake in some Korean culture. Yeah. Everything I've taken in from Korean culture so far, mm -hmm. I've enjoyed. Like uh, what? What Korean culture? The soup. Mm -hmm. Soup. Fern break. Mm -hmm. uh, the 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 cinema that I have enjoyed. Yeah. And um, the smiling girls. Mm. Smiling girls. Who who's smiling at you? Some guy. Walk, mm -hmm. I hang out outside. Uh, I hang out outside a lot of Korean schools. Oh, mm -hmm. that sounds worse than I meant, meant for it to. I just happen to be there because mm -hmm. um, there's a good hot dog stand at the corner and oh, yeah. best wieners in town. Mm -hmm. That shouldn't be talking about wieners, about hanging out outside a Korean school either. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. probably the wrong guest for this. I think is what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, can you leave right now? <laughs> Yeah, please. Just yeah, take off the lav, get out, yeah. we never speak again. Yeah, I, I'm greatly offended. <laughs> so, um, can you give me the list of Korean films you have watched so far? I'm I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to sound like a hack, you know, because I'm going to say Parasite, you know, and I'm mm -hmm. going to, but, uh, Old Boy, mm -hmm. um, and then there's some, there's always a horror in there, it's like a hyper violent horror. Yes. That I saw that I can't mm -hmm. recall. Is it name, I Saw the Devil? That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I Saw the Devil. I Saw the Devil's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. crazy good. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. That's, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm like, I just watched Squid Game. I'm like feeling like the whitest loser right now, <laughs> naming the Korean things I've seen. I, I, I did watch uh, Squid Game too, and which I really loved. Yeah, it was, mm -hmm. they really um, made characters that were sympathetic. Mm -hmm. and hateable like you wanted the good characters to win and you wanted the bad characters to die yeah mm -hmm. yeah sometimes yeah, they fail at that you know on both they, your bad guys aren't bad enough and your mm -hmm. good characters aren't good enough yeah like some good characters died in squid game yeah and then your heart breaks mm -hmm. yeah like when the indian guy died oh, oh my yeah. god that he was, was tragic. such a nice guy and yeah he was he, he was he was he was abused by like uh, all the Korean bosses in mm -hmm. Korea and, and 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 then he was tricked and he had yeah. to die. Yeah. God, I felt for that guy. Mm -hmm. Felt like my time working at the brothel, frankly. <laughs> Reno, two thousand to two thousand six. Yeah. I gave them my last marbles too. <laughs> really? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't die. 
No, I didn't. Well, inside I did. Yes, oh, okay, there's okay. nothing left. <laughs> I'm but a shell. Oh. And I fill the hole with Korean cinema. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the reason why I invited you here. Thank you. Yeah. It's good to be here. Amazing. So the the movie we're gonna watch, um, I uh, I gave you the just the title, but it's called Save the Green Planet. Save the Green Planet. Great. Uh, directed by this. Uh, so it's actually a debut film of this director Jang Jun Hwan. It's his debut. Yeah. Okay. And um, it's one of uh, American horror director Ari Aster's favorite films. Interesting. Um, and he's remaking the Save the Green Planet in Hollywood. Aster is? Yeah, Aster is. Um, wow. he, he's going to produce the uh, Save the Green Planet because he liked it so much. And, uh, and then he's, he's bringing the original director uh, uh, from Korea oh to, my to, to God. direct the remake. Um, um, what's the original director's name again? His name is Chang Jun Hwan. Okay, so will I call him Chang? You, you can call him Chang. For short? Okay. Yeah. Thank um, you. So um, this movie is actually um, very famous, infamous for um, bad marketing okay. in Korea. Um, That'll kill the movie. It's crazy. Yeah, it was. Um, I'm not. I don't know. I don't want to tell you anything about movie right now because I really want you to watch it and tell okay. me what you think. Okay. Uh, but it was um, uh, widely promoted as a silly comedy movie, and okay. and, and it wasn't. And you will you will find out why the, the, this movie is not a silly comedy. Funny. Yeah. Like Cabin in the Woods. Have you ever seen Cabin in the Woods? Oh, I actually haven't seen it. It's yeah. one of the, like people talk about how Parasite defied genre, and I was I was like okay, and I turned it on. I was like, oh, this is a drama. Like I find it was easily mm -hmm. categorized. Mm -hmm. um, Cabin in the Woods, I find truly transcends genre. Mm -hmm. It's like. And they marketed it so poorly. They marketed it like a cheap horror movie about teens in a cabin that mm -hmm. you've seen 500 times already. Mm -hmm. But it's so much more than that. It's a funny comedy horror spoof mm -hmm. um, that is that you know also has a lot to say about the Hollywood as a whole. Oh, um, oh yeah, I remember actually. I did remember watching Kevin in the Woods uh, with. Friends, uh, and um, I, I I fell asleep in the middle. Okay. Uh, like it's not, it wasn't like it was boring. No, you're uh, just tired. I was really tired. I had a couple too many J's, that wacky tobacky. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? yeah. <laughs> Hit the opium pipe a little too hard that night, perhaps. Um, Pop a couple oxies. Um, couple of bat blues. No, I just worked that day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, um, but it was marketed terribly, you know, it's just yeah. so funny how it, mm -hmm. awful marketing can ruin a movie. Yeah, and I, and I, th that's exactly how I felt, uh, like, uh, my expectation was, um, sort of, um, easy, you know, been there, done that horror movie, mm -hmm, like, um, mm -hmm. the teen ghost cabin and, like, the evil dead Yeah, situation. exactly, and, um, evil it dead, wasn't. cabin fever, yeah. yeah, it wasn't that at all, mm -hmm. it's so funny. So this movie falls into that category. Okay. So bad marketing, uh, but then also this movie was before Cabin in the Woods. Right. So yeah. Two thousand three, we're talking. Yeah, two thousand three. When you're when you're a baby. Yeah, yeah. That mm -hmm. was the best summer of my life, two thousand three. Oh really? What yeah. do, uh, what happened? My parents went to Prague for like wow. three weeks, mm -hmm. and we just had crazy parties. It was awesome. Every day. As often as we could, and then you'd, I'd get up mm -hmm. early and go work as a mover, and I saw, and I, mo anyways, I mean, this isn't a podcast about how I worked as a mover, but mm -hmm. I saw some crazy shit. I moved one lady mm -hmm. who murdered her father by stabbing him 42 times in the chest, and Whoa. then we, and then she got out of prison and we moved her. <gasps> I was terrified. Wow. Yeah. She was huge. You should, you should make a movie based on your moving experience. That's a really good idea, actually. Mm -hmm. So it's like um the, the and like a it's about like pers perspective your your own perspective like um so um um the the lady is not the main character but you right. as a mover is the main character yeah and, and go because you you just see into someone's life mm -hmm. at a very vulnerable moment mm -hmm. 
are they moving up in life? Are they moving down in life? Mm -hmm. The whole moving process is very, uh, Mm -hmm. you learn a lot about somebody. You see all their shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what they have. Like, like, um, I think I heard like, uh, you can, you can tell someone's like, um, life or personality by, um, looking at what they have. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. So absolutely. Yeah. You probably learn her whole life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh, and we found stuff. And I found, like, mm-hmm. burnt spoons in the closet. It was harrowing. Now, if I were to if I were to try to learn about your life looking around here, mm-hmm. I would say you like um, watching rats crawl over naked ladies? Mm-hmm. That's wholesome. <laughs> That's I'll wholesome. say. Wholesome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. okay, I guess I nailed it. You're really projecting a clear image of who you are then mm-hmm. I am I'm, I'm a very innocent girl <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um yeah so we're we're gonna go back to the movie so it's a um, um I want to I want to talk a little bit about um before the movie it has nothing to do with uh, movie because uh, I want to talk about a little bit of um the director Chang Jin Hwan mm-hmm. um I was fortunate to watch his short film before um, the release of his feature debut, which is Save the Green Planet, because um, he he was the uh, one of the most highly regarded um, film graduate in Korea mm. at the time in the in the nineties. Um, so he, students already have hype um, coming out of school. Well, there were there were actually two movies at the time in Korea. They were very very highly regarded because they won a number of awards. Uh, internationally wow and, student films uh, not necessarily student film but um, they were a short film okay that, that got a lot of attention okay and there uh, there there is a there were two movies uh, one is called um, Korean title Ujung San Chek it means walking in the la- walking in the rain okay um, and the other one was um, called um, 2001 imagine directed mm. by this this guy Okay. Um, it, and that short film was uh, was so so um, uh, highly regarded that um, it was shown on television, mm. on Korean television. So I, I watched it, and I thought, oh my god, this is so pretentious. Then <laughs> so I, I hated it, and yeah. and and then and then this film released, which so which I I never watched. And, and it flopped, but uh, uh, he ended up winning a lot of awards like, for this flop. For this flop, yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. And were you hesitant to watch it because his short was so pretentious? Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's mm-hmm. funny. Yeah, but uh, he uh, he's a he was he's a classmate of uh, with of uh, Bong Joon Ho. Bong Joon Ho is a, one of his best friends. So you 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 probably won't recognize, but Bong Joon Ho is one of the, one of the special thanks. Okay. At the end of um, this movie, um, and, and and Bong Joon Ho, on the same year, he released Memories of Murder, which okay. is a, a great uh, masterpiece that that this that swept the country. Okay. And then he he released this flop, his best friend. Okay. And they released this. Oh the, man, this, that's gotta be hard. At yeah, masterpiece. When you go out for beers the next time. Yeah, so they. Uh, so I, I kind of feel for this director. Yeah. yeah. Hey, how's that flop of yours doing? That <laughs> beer's on me, by the way. Hey, floppy. <laughs> I think that's, that's exactly the conversation they had. Yeah. Yeah. That's got to be. Mm-hmm. So um, we're going to pause our conversation here for now. Okay. Um, if you, if you, um, you want to listen to further um, discussion, uh, we... I highly recommend to watch this movie, Save the Green Planet, on Canopy.com. It is available for free. Nice. Uh, if you have library card, local library card, so you can come back to our discussion about the movie after you you watch the movie. So see you in a bit. <laughs> Did she actually say honey? Is um, honey actually said, a pet name? No, uh, she said opa. Means uh, like older brother. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
older brother. Yeah, like, um... Why is she so saying, calling him, why are they saying it's honey? That's something you would call, like, a lover. Yeah, um, I do think that they are, they have some sort of relationship. I, I see them as more like, um, older brother and younger sister. Yeah. Yeah. Did he really say my bastard? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Apparently it takes like three to ten minutes to knock somebody out with chloroform. Oh. It's not like in the movie like... Mm. Also the, when, you, when, you, when you see like people thinking right away, it's a fake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Classic 2003 intro I know. Music. <laughs> yeah. Could be one of the most 2000 intro, uh, 2000, <laughs> early 2000 intro. Yeah, that uh, yeah. happy, cheery pop punk stuff mm -hmm. by some young dude with harsh hardcore vocal fry. Yeah. Are you are you gonna make your intro like this too? <laughs> yeah. No way, man. All things considered, it's a great opening credit sequence. Sorry. All things considered, it's a great opening credit sequence. Yeah. All those overlays, and the way they do that, those, the credits coming in with the mm -hmm. snipped up bits of paper. Yeah. Oh, nice Nokia, buddy. <laughs> do you remember the time? Oh, yeah. My ringtone was a wrestling entrance theme done in like that weird old Nokia MIDI. Yeah? Style, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That gives me... Chota shivers. <laughs> that guy's a fucking loser. <laughs> ah! Nailed it! <laughs> <laughs> do you know, do you, do you know, um, do you know a lot of girls like that? <laughs> I know the female characters that men write like that. I saw a guy react like that at Tim Hortons when they ran out of Tim Beeps. <laughs> the old sound from the machine turning on? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he speaks pretty poetically for a meth addict. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's gross. What did they say for demented fuck? What's, what did they say for demented fuck? Oh, I, I actually have to uh, listen to it again. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I just said Mitsunoma. Means a crazed guy. Crazed guy. Crazed man, yeah. Okay. Crazed bastard. Yeah. Asshole? Crazy asshole, crazed bastard. Bastard, okay. Yeah. But the, I'm just cu always curious what the literal mm -hmm. translation is there. Mm -hmm. um, cultural appropriation much? Oh fuck. Iron marks on his chest, god damn. Yeah. That'd be a funny tattoo to get. An iron burn? <laughs> does, it, does it give you ideas? Yeah, that's pretty good. That'd be funny. Yeah. Make all your tattoos look like accidents. <laughs> <laughs> Things you've accidentally sat down on. Yeah. A big, like, stovetop oven spiral on your butt. Yeah. I love his shiny red rich guy boxers that he's got. <laughs> Yeah. Like that's what rich guys wear in 2003? I think so. Total like aluminum foil red yeah. underwear. Yeah. I combed my doll's head off today. <laughs> You're always on meth. This is like one of the songs that gets stuck in my head the most. Wow. Oh. Somewhere in the Rainbow. And it's like mm -hmm. walking around humming this to myself. Oh. Um. For, for real, or, or you're saying because this is the only song that's been playing in the movie? For real. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I always get this song stuck in my head. Mm -hmm. Oof. Oh, 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 oh. Sounds like a Tinder conversation I had. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
clips, I will reach your small intestine. <laughs> that's how, yay. Yeah, that's how you get check girls. This won a bunch of awards. I think he won, um, the, the guy mostly won the best new director at the, the Korean Film Awards. Okay. Yeah. For this? For this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with the directing. That was my favorite part of the movie right there, and I farted smart. <laughs> I know! <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. I know. Look at the way he's dressed. <laughs> Give him the Winnipeg Comedy Festival. <laughs> <laughs> what is this place? Um, <laughs> it's like a building. Oh, the building. Oh, that's, that's their um, research lab. For the rich guys, for Kang's company? Yeah, for his chemical company. He looks like he just took out his ear spacers for a job interview. <laughs>
doesn't preach. He just brags how smart he is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I, I felt that. I felt that in a way. Um, that it, I mean, not 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 to the level of Christopher Nolan. I, mm. But I felt like um, he wanted to show like how like how deep and philosophical he is. Like right. I, I see that. Yeah. I see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can see that pretentiousness. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. the one gene that separates. Mm -hmm. Man from the higher, from a higher level of consciousness mm -hmm. is his thirst for anger <laughs> yeah. and violence. Sure, yeah. I can see that. Mm -hmm. But at least there's something there. Mm -hmm. At least there's something, there's an idea behind the pretentiousness. Whereas Garden State was like, isn't this weird? <laughs> for an hour and a half. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what? Um, um, I mean, I, I couldn't... Um, I mean, this is this this was uh, this was as pretentious I could get from Korean cinema, right. like, but um, you know, you know, but again, like, no one was pretentious enough uh, to make like as like movie like Garden State. Yeah, in no, Korea. You, yeah. you'd need some sort of mutated American exceptionalism, I think, to mm -hmm. to make so, to, the mind that would create something like Garden State. Yeah, there were some interesting things, like I. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm always grasping for symbolism in movies and stuff, but mm -hmm. like even when, um, you know, the main crazy guy meth addict was yeah. was going nuts in the chemical mm -hmm. factory at the end, mm -hmm. and his face was all swollen and stuff. Mm -hmm. I almost felt they made him look like the chimpanzee earlier on oh, in, I never the, in the that. smashing scene. Yeah, because they puffed up like his upper lip. Yeah, here kind of like that and mm -hmm. stuff. And I, he was showing that, you know, we are hopeless because we do all have that built-in mm -hmm. monkey rage in us, you know? Yeah. Um, some interesting passes like that. And, mm -hmm. um, the, sh the cinematography wasn't really too pretentious. I mean... I guess it wasn't that pretentious as it was the state. What I always enjoyed about Korean cinema mm -hmm. instead of, like, say, you know... Um, Hollywood movies? It's it's a similarity to ho Hollywood movies that I enjoy, and and same with Quebecois movies, mm -hmm. um, you know, as opposed to English Canada movies, yeah. is that they look good, like they're shot well, mm -hmm. um, they're easy to look at, mm -hmm. and they give you blood and explosions, mm -hmm. you know, and and I enjoy that. I mean, I'm mm -hmm. you know, I'm not. The dumbest man. I'm certainly not the most sophisticated guy, <laughs> but it, these movies are just so easy to watch. Yeah, I mean, I I would say um, the cinematography wasn't wasn't too bad. I actually enjoyed it for um, like like how differently um, the subjects were lit. Mm -hmm. like, yes, yeah, some really nice lighting when mm -hmm. uh, Kang was trying to escape from the bunker there and he just has that strip of light mm -hmm. across his face mm -hmm. um, some nice zoom uh, not zooms but dolly shots going mm -hmm. into that spinning fan when mm -hmm. he's trying to escape too yeah I remember and then at the end there was one of those scenes that is kind of very early mid 2000s where mm -hmm. the cops on his bike racing to the bunker and it's mm -hmm. got that sort of that staggered shutter yeah, yeah, thing right, they have yeah. going on that mm -hmm. they do in like crank movies and stuff <laughs> yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's highly stylized, but yeah. I don't know if I'd call it super pretentious. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, again, I couldn't pick more pretentious movies okay. than um, Garden State because nothing can. No, but mm -hmm. if that's as bad as it gets, yeah. I mean, lucky Korea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So um, I'm, I'm really going to talk about the the, the uh, major Korean culture that was in uh, the film. Okay, please. Which, which was um, which was um, the product they were rubbing on his um, his uh, his feet. Oh, yeah. When they scratch, the makeup was really good on the mm -hmm. scrubbed up tops of oh, his yeah. feet. Oh yeah. Oh my God. That I just, know. That made my butthole turn into a singularity. As oh I, my God. So like I was like. Ooh, me too. So I have the very, very product. I brought okay, it from Korea. Okay, this is it, huh? This is it. Um, so um, the Korean name, and they changed a the different name, but the Korean okay. name back then, and, and nobody used actually this name. It's called Mul Pas. Okay. The Mul means water. Okay. Pas means patch. Okay. And um, the, in the movie, they talk, uh, talked about it as a like, sort of a bee sting solution. But, uh, water patch. 
Yeah, but um, is it, is it easy actually not? People mostly buy this stuff for, can you guess? I mean, if it smells like menthol and stuff like that, I would mm -hmm. be like, I don't know. To, you rub it under your nose to wake up while you're watching Garden State? <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying every Korean wakes up to garden state? <laughs> no, I mean like you would fall asleep. It's so okay. boring. Mm -hmm. You need like smelling salts to put it on your nose. And, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, right, right. I was watching a movie. <laughs> so <laughs> let me let me put it on and I let okay. the, so you can smell it. Um, Where do you put it? Um, typically, I I'll say it more like arm. Okay. Okay. So and to make it fair, I'm gonna put it on myself too. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's smell it. Mm. Mm. I don't. I think mm. I'm right. It's to wake up. It's to wake <laughs> yourself up while watching a boring movie like Garden State. <laughs> Is it a, muscle relief? That's a really good guess. It's for mosquito bites. Okay, so not these things. Mosquito Mos stings. Yeah, mosquito okay. stings. Um, I it, wish I had this when I was in high school and my boobies weren't coming in. Oh. <laughs> Mosquito stings. <laughs> do you, you want to? You can have it. Yeah, I need to go back in time first. Yeah, okay. I need to contact the giant earlobed aliens from Save the Green Planet. Yeah. Go back in time. Mm -hmm. So um yeah, because um, I was I was I was getting so much mosquito fight when I when I was in Korea. Really? Yeah. Big mosquito problem, huh? Big mosquito problem Jesus. in Korea. Uh, so yeah. Standing water? What's the problem? Um yeah, I mean there um there are lots. Like, Lots of water and trees and I don't know and and it's and the weather is more humid mm -hmm. there so yeah Florida's got a big yeah the, mosquito the, problem yeah yeah like you know Canada is um, rel relatively dry okay. compared to yeah. like Florida or or South Korea mm -hmm. Philippines so yeah uh, those places okay. a lot more mosquito problems is it still called water patch. Um, now it's called bumuli. It does make uh, the the water the the oh. word itself does make any sense. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. what a nice little product. Yeah. And the logo mm -hmm. is it's a, a meth addicted clown. Apparently, I don't know if you can get a zoom in on that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good lord. Mm -hmm. You see, he's punching mosquitoes. Oh, that's a punch, and he's also winking, mm -hmm. and his hair is red fumes. Yeah. <laughs> And he has two club feet, apparently. Yeah. Hard mm -hmm. to find a shoe that fits that guy, I'll bet. Yeah. He, he's, um, <laughs> he's a good guy. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. a villain? No, not a villain. <laughs> no, he, he, um, he makes you less itchy. So yeah. He's, he's, he's a, he's a, he's a itchy, itchy relief dude. Which actually would be good for people with a meth addiction, too, because they're always scratching themselves. Oh, uh, do they? Yeah. Oh, okay. They think there's bugs all over them, and they go... Oh, they think yeah. the bugs yeah. are all, all over them. Yeah. So, um, Which is, makes sense that the meth mm -hmm. addict in the film mm -hmm. had that on hand. You know what? Yeah. They weren't showing him doing the... Here's one problem I have with the movie. Mm -hmm. They didn't show him taking meth enough. Yeah, except the, uh, the, the, the fantasy scene yeah. where... Like, pills... His mom gives him a bunch, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe, I don't know, is there a thing... That if you show drug use in a movie, it bumps you into a different rating or something like that. Just yeah, you know, especially back in two thousand three. Yeah. If there is a scene that um, Korean person, well, to any drug, it's even 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 marijuana is yeah. illegal in South Korea. Right. So, if they were if they were um, showing this the scene of um, uh, someone doing drug, like, um, even even. Especially back in two thousand three, yeah. it, it, it would, it would, the, the, that movie would, would have been never released. There you go. That's yeah. probably why they didn't show it. So you had mm -hmm. to just assume this guy takes a lot of blue pills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So he was crazy though. Oh yeah, and uh, I have to tell you this interesting marketing story in okay. Korea. So they in Korea they market it as a fun silly comedy, <laughs> and, and and the people people went watch it and and they they saw the one hour of torture. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and I was like, I, I came to I came here to watch fun silly comedy and I'm watching <laughs> nonstop torturing. Yeah, it was like so, hostel. Yeah, it was like hostel. So they, they uh they, they got bad uh word of mouth. Mm. So 
and then like pe people hated it, hated it, hated it. So like people were like spreading uh, rumor that don't watch it, don't watch it. It's, it's not silly comedy. People so do that about my comedy. That's terrible to hear. Oh. They just go around saying it's awful. Don't see this guy. All he does is scream about bodily fluids. Oh. Except they're right. Do you? Yeah. Oh, I mean. So maybe it's justified. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> Well, th thank you for telling me so I won't go see you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you're welcome. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. Of course I'm going to see you. Um, so, so. That's interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's why you got uh, such a bad press. Hmm. Not that bad press, so a bad um, word of mouth. Yeah. yeah. And where did it experience mm -hmm. success beyond like the awards? I mean, did it do well on DVD or something? Oh, yeah, I think it, it, it was discovered much later, like... Wow. Yeah, uh, you know, Korean people uh, have, like, developed a uh, different taste mm -hmm. over time. Like, they, mm -hmm. they accept more um, challenging or different films now. Right. But even... Just only, it's been only 18 years ago. But, yeah. Um, but, um, like, the mentality of South Korea wasn't, like, I guess, too open hmm. yet. That's mm -hmm. pretty fast for uh, an entire nation of 50 million to come around. Yeah, yeah, actually. What's that attributed to? Um, well, um, actually, that, that is not true. It's, it's still, still so many people are uh, very, 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 very conservative. Sure. Yeah. Um, it's just um, younger generation discovering more. So and then younger generation is like, sort of... A, Start taking over. So it's yeah. not like old people changed. No, still okay. exactly the same. Just younger people getting more power. Yeah. Yeah. And being raised in an internet mm -hmm. generation, I'm sure they see more or watch more yeah. content from other places in the world. Mm -hmm. Opens your mind a little bit. Yeah, internet. Because before uh, that, the, there was an internet. Now, like South Korea has uh, one of the fastest internet. I hear that. Yeah. That must be nice. Yeah, in the world. So, um, so yeah, they, they, they would consume more and more and more and more about other culture and accepting mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Because mm -hmm. yeah. there were still some hard scenes in there, you know, like mm -hmm. it was a real good build too, going from scrubbing the tops of the feet mm -hmm. to then there was, was the next thing the thumb? Where he's like breaking his thumb with his mouth? Oh, yeah. That was hard to watch. The I sound know. was really good on that. Yeah. Ooh, uh, I was screaming. Me too. I'm sure you can go back on the camera and I'm like, ah! Oh! 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 Um, you would swear I was watching Garden State. But it's just me <laughs> watching a man bite his own thumb into a broken state. Broken state. Broken state. Um, not Garden State. Not Garden State. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was some real good gross gore there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and another Korean culture I want to talk about in the film. Mm -hmm. this, it was very brief, and I'm not sure if you catch, if you caught it. Um, there's a moment that um, um, teacher beat uh, Byungu up uh, for yeah. uh, for um, not paying school fee. Right. Is it? Is it? Is, I mean, you spanked not... him in front of the whole class. Yeah, yeah. In Ukraine, you get that if you get the best grades in the class. <laughs> they do that. They, 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 yeah. they spank you for a cost. Yeah, pull your for, pants for... down and you say, thanks, I needed that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a fucked up culture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that, but that mm -hmm. does it didn't really happen, did it? You get spanked in front of the class? Um, I mean, that could be a sort of exaggerated version, but um, back, in, back in 2003, um, in Korea, um, high school or middle school, like, yeah. The, it wasn't free. You had to pay tuition. Right. And um. And, healthcare too. It and, seemed like you had to pay. Oh yeah, healthcare. You have to pay in Korea too. We can. Like we can talk about them what, a lot about it, but uh, not not today. Okay. Yeah. But uh, um, is is it? Today. It's it's free now. It's uh, okay. high school education and junior high. But back in two thousand three, and mm. especially Byung-gu when he, he he probably grew up in like. Late eight, 90s. Like late 90s. Oh, oh, not the late, late 90s, but like mid, uh, mid 90s. Okay. Or, um, it was still not free. And, and um, um, a lot of times, um, teacher accepted like bribe from students. So, they, they, so 
it was very common for um, wow. teacher to favor rich students. Oh shit! So um, him so being a poor kid. Him being a poor kid, he he was um, he was um, you know, discriminated. Right. Yeah. And humiliated. In humiliated. Front of the class. Yeah, in front of class. The class. It's a, so it's a it, it's a real thing. That underwear was kind of baggy too. That was mm. where poor kid underwears. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't shiny and <laughs> sparkling <laughs> like um, uh, Mr. Kong. Mr. Kong. Kong's. Oh my God, yeah. those were nice. Where do you get those? Jeez. Probably get their underwear at the bay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, the bay is in uh, the bay is in Korea. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, those mm -hmm. were nice. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So that's um, there there was um, real uh. Korean um, culture that was in uh, the film. You would go to prison for life if you did that to a kid here today. Yeah. Just took his pants down and spanked him yeah. and then assaulted him in front of the whole class. Yeah. Is it an ass, literal ass whooping. Yeah. It's like, like it's, it's not acceptable in, in like Western culture, right? No. Like, it's just create. Even, even when I was growing up there, um, I went to girls high school, mm -hmm. but um, I was late. I, I, I actually I, I, I used to be late a lot and then when I was late the, the, what, the, what were you why are you late all the time you smoking doobies in the bathroom where are you home no <laughs> I woke up late <laughs> and uh, what what they what, what my teacher my male teacher mm -hmm. would do to the female student right do these uh, they, they make me because like on all fours all fours and he would have um wooden panel like a thick wooden panel and he, he would hit me really hard just just below the butt of the where on the you, on, hamstrings on, on the hamstring it's like a where yeah yeah Under, that, yeah. yeah that part is really soft and um <coughs> it is soft and when you when you, you ever you, sit wrong on the toilet seat you get a little pinch of the hair underneath the old hamstring like, yeah yeah exactly and then they would they would beat me with with like like thick and flat wooden panel. Good God. Yeah, and then, then, and they, they had no, they, no one can say anything. When are you gonna plan your revenge? <laughs> oh yeah, I should, I should do. I should, <coughs> yeah, go find that teacher. Yeah. Bring him into a dirty, abandoned. Uh, what mm -hmm. was it? What was it? It was abandoned. It was a re. What was the the space they had? Oh, the uh, the uh, um, research lab. Yeah. Oh, no, no, where he made underneath where he made the mannequins. You said it used oh, to yeah, be yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. like a oh, yeah, spa, bathhouse. A bathhouse. bathhouse. Yeah. Yeah. Go find your own abandoned bathhouse. Yeah. I know a couple. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to build something above first. Yeah, yeah. You need a front. Mm -hmm. You definitely. Yeah. Film studio maybe. Oh, that'd be nice. Film studio yeah. above, and then abusive teacher torture chamber <laughs> in the basement. <laughs> wow, I actually really like that idea. Yeah, it's not bad, huh? Yeah. I can't believe that it's mm -hmm. crazy that like. You know, back in the day, you know, mm -hmm. you used to be able to just pull kids' pants down and mm -hmm. spank them, you know. Now today, mm -hmm. to have that done to me, I'd have to pay a girl 200 bucks. Yeah. Times have changed. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's, that's progress. I mean, that's eight, 18 years later. Yeah. That's, that's, not, um, that's not accepted anymore. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Speaking of bathhouse, uh, I have another... I like where this is going. Oh. Um, Korean, uh, another, another Korean culture. I wanna, uh, I wanna uh, uh, tell you about. So, okay. um, uh, back in the days, um, for, uh, uh, fortunately, I, I I grew up in um, apartment building, mm -hmm. but um, not everybody had um, shower in Korea. Okay. So, um, public bathhouse is very, very, very common in mm, Korea. Right. I mean, it was it was more common back then when I was growing up. Uh, it's not. Uh, Nowadays it's more like spa kind of like, um, so so they did they scrub you. So mm. main main service at at bathhouse is scrubbing you, scrubbing all of your body. Yeah. And and sounds nice. Yeah, it's actually very nice. So um, you get you get you get scrubbed by professional scrubber. Yeah. Um, so you so, so, they so, put some water patch and all your mosquito bites. <laughs> oh yeah, they put that. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's a it's a professional job, a professional uh, body scrubber. Mm -hmm. Is it is a probably a job maybe only exists in Korea? I'm not sure. Mm. Is there is there a job like that in um, Ukraine? 
Uh, well, that's what my girlfriend refers to mm-hmm. my hairy legs as in bed. Professional body scrubbers. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> you, you, um... Yeah. It's coarse hair. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like a yak from the waist down. <laughs> so um, you, you, um, you unintentionally became a professional yeah uh, my uh, legs are stealing stealing jobs from needy koreans all across the city yeah (laughs) yeah you should move to korea Uh, yeah i could make you know those um, gams those professional scrubber makes nowadays back back then it was like like uh uh, like a lower class job Mm -hmm. but now it's a more like they they more like uh developed like sort of sort of spark kind of job so right you make you can make like 100 grand whoa a year yeah yeah that'd be nice all right mm-hmm. okay well thanks i've got mm-hmm. i've got a future all of a sudden yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first time in my life this movie is really rich with cultural phenomena the yeah. korean culture phenomena i would um i mean it, it is um it, uh, it does um i mean it does have a like um like a larger than life kind of um, imagination, yeah. but uh, but at the same time, like how <coughs> how Byung, uh, Byung-gu was like tortured by different people. That I would say, I mean, it's still very exaggerated, but uh, I would say that 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 could be easily uh, real life in Korea. Mm. Like okay, <laughs> Jesus, the is this part of Korean culture? There was a man in the circus scene. Mm-hmm. Where Suni was uh, mm-hmm. doing the tightrope walk. The mm-hmm. act before was a man who farted smoke. Oh, yeah. That was my favorite part of the movie. That was my favorite part of the movie right there. The guy farted smoke. <laughs> the smoke farter. <laughs> Forget scrubbing people with my hairy legs. Mm-hmm. I want to become a professional smoke farter. Yeah. I mean, um, I-, I cannot say that's so uh, that's not popular common. job. You don't just or... walk around the street. And see a bunch of smoke plumes coming out of guys' butts. I know. I I, I never seen it in my life in Korea or anywhere. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess this this movie really did have a tall mm-hmm. imagination then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's funny that it's funny that 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 I thought that was like probably the least least cringe. Of- part of movie and okay. you, you caught that yeah, yeah yeah loved it i was like mm-hmm. how do you do that <laughs> that guy must have a lung in his butt do you, do you want his number or something <laughs> yeah man yeah. i gotta hire that guy for my next birthday party <laughs> <laughs> is he just do it with smoke mm-hmm. could he do it with paint and get my walls done you know <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's that's, uh, that's definitely um, not Korean thing. Okay, but... I do have one question. Oh, sorry, mm-hmm. My th- I keep having the cough. Oh, <coughs> are you okay? <coughs> yeah, sorry mm-hmm. about all the coughing. <clears throat> but you know, I'm watching. Uh, whenever I'm watching Korean stuff with subtitles, mm-hmm. and they, I see the pu- the characters' names on screen. Yeah, it says like Suni, mm-hmm. but they never pronounce it Suni. It's always like. Sunia or something. Yeah. Or... Oh my God, that's a, such a good question. Because uh, um, in Korea, <clears throat> the, when they call someone's name, they they never say just a, like a, let's say your name's Hunter. If I were if they if if you were in Korea and I would call your name, I wouldn't I wouldn't call you Hunter. Okay. I would uh, call you Hunter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's the designations. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, it has sort of always designation. It's a or either a mm-hmm. or ya. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. that makes sense. For for my Korean name, <clears throat> which is Sukyang, mm-hmm. if someone uh, if someone were to call my name in Korea in a, by Korean per, uh, by Korean person, they they would call me Sukyang a. Okay. Yeah. They 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 just they they just uh, don't call me Sukyang. It's weird. Right, right. Yeah. But you hear about that in other languages, too. It's the same in a lot of Slavic languages. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Some some languages have, like, seven designations. It's crazy. Mm. Even the, the last name changes everything. Yeah. Wow. Even last name. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. And if you're born a man or a woman, mm-hmm. like, your the ending of your name changes, too. Oh, the, that, 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 that kind of... Uh, that's that's kind of... Uh, the same thing in Korea too. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Interesting. Okay, well, that clears that up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm always interested, too, like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm watching a movie and then, like, mm -hmm. you know, the subtitles say in a Korean movie that, you know, a boss is insulting an employee and he goes, mm -hmm. you, you know, dirty, scum-sucking, hair-farter. <laughs> and I'm like, no way they said that in Korean. Like, they must have used their own idioms yeah, to say that. Yeah, of course. So I was asking you the whole movie yeah. about, did he really say that? And it seemed like, yeah, bastard mm -hmm. comes up and stuff like that. But when he says, you fuck, mm -hmm. like, is there a direct translation for you fuck? Or would you no, say something really. else? No, not really. You know, um, the, one of the common, um, like, um, curse word in mm -hmm. Korea is, um, it, it is, it's called kesekki. Okay. Uh, it, it, the direct it, sound, trans it, it sounds really mean. Yeah, it, it direct translation is like um, a s son of dog or okay. Yeah. The, yeah. Like so son like of a bitch. A, yeah, son like son of bitch, but instead of bitch, uh, your 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 son of dog. Right. <laughs> and it's a it's it's a it's a very common curse word okay. to to use. Um, this movie was uh, reviewed on the Korean culture, and it's kind of internet mm -hmm. culture. Um, this movie actually was the, was one of the few Korean movies that was reviewed by Korean cartoon. Uh, there's a movie review Korean cartoon on on the on the internet okay. called Boogie Boogie Young Younghwa. Okay. It means um, Boogie Boogie movie. Okay. Uh, it doesn't mean anything, but it's it's a it's, a, it's, a, it's about cat, uh, a cat who's wearing suit. He and 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 some cartoon girl that. Talk, they review movies. Okay. And, they, <laughs> and um, this this one one of the one of the, they uh, they review a lot of um this cartoon characters uh, review a lot of um uh, western movies. But okay. it, this was one of the Korean movies they reviewed and one and of the, where they they're based in Korea. They they're based in Korea. I would I would love to because the, the cartoon is actually really 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 funny. Okay. I can. I'll, uh, I'll, yeah, send me the link. I'll send you the link. <laughs> I just want to show you because the cats, uh, the cat guy. Whenever yeah. he, he's cat, but uh, whenever he's talk something really serious, he, he his face changed to man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so funny. I I, I wish um I wish um this this uh, this cartoon was available in an English. But I, I would just mean. we need to talk about. I just want to talk about this Korean cartoon uh, that reviews movies. Okay. And what he said was um. After movie, the, the Earth is totally fine. The only thing that was hit by Andromeda was production company. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's what the cat in the cartoon said, and I thought it was so funny. That's cute. Yeah, that was. <clears throat> so um yeah, so that's that's the one thing I want to talk about, and um. The Earth blowing up at the end was. Like, that's the ultimate ending of a movie. I've only seen the Earth completely blow up maybe mm -hmm. like three times. Oh, well, what, what movies? Mm -hmm. Doesn't the Earth, I think the Earth blows up in uh, Knowing? Uh, was knowing. Right, it's like a Nicolas Cage about. 2007 movie about a little girl who mm -hmm. can predict the future. And then all these disasters start happening and then like the mm -hmm. Earth just fucking blows right up at the end. Oh. It's like a giant solar flare or something comes down, mm -hmm. everyone dies. Oh, <clears throat> It sounds terrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's as terrible as this is, but mm -hmm. um, it's pretty, it's bold. Oh, yeah. It's not yeah. just like the main character dies. It's like, you're fucking dead too. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a message. Yeah. That, 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 um, that, Clean up your act. Mm -hmm. 18 years ago. And here we are. Mm -hmm. Still using f f Kruger, Koenig, or Tassimo cups and all that shit. Just tossing that in the ocean. Oh, in 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 knowing or I, I mean in real life, oh, in, we in have to life. clean up our act. We're still killing the planet. With oh chemical yeah, true. Companies yeah, true. Yeah. What are those called? Those K cups? They those non reusable oh, yeah. coffee pods. Mm -hmm. That's that a load of shit. is is that cup like recyclable? No, no? it's garbage. It's just <gasps> plastic. Is it? Is it? You cannot recycle those cups. Not that I know of. Oh.